Lack of accommodation at the second highest learning institution has forced these students to spend a night in the court at the Freedom Statue. They were last night chased from the campus as squatters. CBU security guards went at rampage chasing every squatter at the campus. And later the students were addressed by the Vice Chancellor Nyson Ngoma, reaffirming his decision to chase all the squatters. The university is absolutely resolute on this matter. It is absolutely unshaken on this matter. Huh? Absolutely. No, no shade of doubt in the matter. Now, what I'm going to do now... Reaffirming his decision to chase all the squatters. <laughs> I'm going to, to leave here. I'm going to walk away with some of your leadership as I walk. Huh? And I'm going to be talking to them. And, and then... Uh, <laughs> to us. People like yourself out there. If you are fed up and you don't want to listen, just go and fuck yourself up. Talk to us. People like yourself out there. If you are fed up and you don't want to listen, just go and fuck yourself up. Union leaders who also slept in the court have called on government to consider dissolving the entire CBO board. Because the key issue that we are really fighting is accommodation. What we really need at the Copper Board University is the uh, infrastructure development. Because there haven't been infrastructure development ever since the 1990s. Uh, the Copper Board University only has got a, a, an infrastructure uh, bed space. It has got a bed space of about 2,011 bed spaces against a population of 12,000. So that is a really a very big deficit. Uh, very aggrieved in the manner that the management has handled the matter. They have not concentrated on very important issues like you know, increasing the you know, number of classrooms, the university, the human resource in terms of lecturers, expanding our library and make it more acceptable by improving our laboratories and many other things. But you know, they have just concentrated on something that is very minor. I promise that there are going to be containers that are going to come in to the university which are going to, have, uh, which are going to be temporary accommodation. But uh, nothing has been done in that regard and management has started pushing for this mass exodus of students from campus. Earlier in the day, over 20 students were arrested for unlawful assembly together with the Kobusu president. And this has angered their colleagues. See, it is uh, something that we, uh, we, we, we will learn from. We hope that next time if the students choose to cooperate, that the, the police will not act in the manner in which they have acted because it is so sad that the students are now locked up. Imagine today is a Sunday. And we know if you, are, if you are locked up on Sunday, you, you, you don't get released. And these are students who have classes tomorrow. So we are wondering what sort of uh, policemen and women we have right now who don't seem to give ear to any form of common sense whatsoever. Uh, their actions are not encouraging to us. Uh, and even as we try to avoid students, uh, the situation campus is leading to chaos. Uh, we think it's so important that the police also help us in the situation, but, but then the situation where they arrest the union leaders uh, is only discouraging and won't help ease the tension in campus. These students were just by Freedom Statue, just exp expressing their displeasure. They were not noisy, they were just sleeping there, exp expressing their displeasure with management's decision to ban squatting. And CBU only has the capacity to accommodate about 2,000 students, but the current population at the school is over 12,000. Dinas Nurendas Kamwaya, Movie TV News, in Kitwe.